Hello there, Michaelers. Here I am again, just a few days since the last live. I hope everyone's doing wonderful. I hope everyone's doing great and having a great day. Today is Juneteenth. And a lot of you, a lot of people, even black people, white people, like, what the heck is Juneteenth? Juneteenth happened during the Civil War. Um, and uh, the Civil War of the mid-1800s, where it was the Confederate States versus the Union States, and the fight was over. We need to keep our slaves. And the other fight was like, no, it's inhumane. Let's not keep the slaves. So they fought over it. So um, in uh, January 1st, uh, 1863, during the Civil War, Abraham Lincoln, uh, signed the Proclamation Declaration, uh, the Proclamation Emancipation, which freed slaves. It, w it took, uh, two and a half years for all the slaves to be told they were free. Um, well, all the slaves in the Union zones did know that they were free. Remember, slaves could not read or write you if you they found out you could read or write they'll kill you i mean that's how much of a threat you having a brain and being able to think on your own because if you ever think on your own you're like hey the slavery thing ain't right so uh th so they had to wait for somebody white to tell them that they were free. okay white and of authority to tell them that they were free so um um after um 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 and then for every single slave to be free, either inside the war zone or outside the war zone, it wasn't until December of 1865 that um, that all slaves were free um, with the ratification and the enactment of the 13th Amendment. But Juneteenth is the uh, word of June and June 19th when the last Union soldier, they made it to Texas, Gaveston, Texas, and they were able to tell all the sl slaves in the war zone, now you are free. You do not have to work for free. You do not have to stay here. And um, and uh, so we're celebrating as of uh, June uh, 20, as of uh, the year 2021, um, it's now a national holiday of Juneteenth. Okay, so Juneteenth, now you know. Okay, it's the freedom of the slaves. Um, and uh, the war, the Civil War was over in May, May of 1865. And it was June of 1865 that uh, the, Union uh, the Union soldiers were able to reach Gaveston, uh, Texas, to tell all the slaves they were free. All right. So that's Juneteenth. So happy freedom. A lot of people say it's second Independence Day of the USA. But anyway, we're here. All right. Um, so uh, there's a couple of new clues, guys. We got a new one. Oh, my God. I wonder how many of you guys saw it or how many of you guys caught it. I really, really wonder. It's from Paris Jackson. She was with Omar, but it's really Paris's clue. Okay. But anyway, before we do that, stays all day shay. Uh, that's new work and play A. Eh? Because everybody has skin. So, you guys, this is the essential oil, frankincense, myrrh, and lang lang. Oh, my God, it smells so good. And it's so good for your skin if you have headaches. It's good for libido. If you have, um, like... Um, the effects of chemotherapy. Uh, Lang Lang is an insect repellent and it smells divine. Okay, another one is Money Buckle. Money Buckle is honeysuckle. It's a hot, spicy um, flower and it smells divine. This, this fragrance, I mean, it just lasts all day. Okay, all of them do. Okay, and another one is Magic Amore. Magic Amore, who remembers Victoria's Secret's love spell? Got it in a shea butter. It's called Magic Amore. The reason why they're in these bags is because that's how I do give it to people in, in, in the sealed bags. Okay. And then, of course, I got to make some more peach. And peach is coming. And I have lavender. And I have uh, Jador. And just so many different fragrances. So please go to Stays all day shea.com or the shea butter perfume store and order your stays all day shea i promise you will not be disappointed and um, if you let me know that you're a fan i will give you a free michael jackson sticker i will put a michael jackson sticker i have so many of them maybe not that one but maybe this one maybe this one or maybe this one 
or maybe this one, you know, but you'll get a free Michael Jackson sticker, but you got to let me know that you're a Michael fan because I'm not putting them in everybody's. Okay, Thriller. Okay, MJ. And we thank Nancy Avaro for these stickers. And then here's another Michael. So anyway, so staysalldayshade.com. And don't forget, if you have not watched the Alive docuseries, you are really, really missing out, okay? On facts, clues, proof, on facts, proof, evidence, and clues that Michael Jackson indeed faked his death, okay? So anyway, so let's move on, right? Let's move on. Um, you know, I asked a question um, and hardly, and, and, and not that many people responded to it. And I wonder if we're afraid, if we're afraid. I asked if Donald Trump demanded his supporters and he would call it freedom, uh, freedom Kool-Aid, how, how many of them would really drink it? Remember Jim Jones? He was a drug addict. He was um, having sex with all kinds of people. He, he just wasn't right. He was a religious cult leader that took people out uh, to Ga Ghana, uh, yeah, in South America, and uh, over 900 of them drank the Kool-Aid and just died. It was cyanide, you know, and with Trump nowadays, I'm just wondering, you know, how many of, how many is willing to go down with the ship with him, you know, uh, it worries me, it worries me. Okay, we're going to move on. You know, one girl, I got to just say this, I received this message and she said, oh, I have a company and I was going to buy all kind of your shea butter. But since you talked about Trump, never mind, you weren't going to buy my shea butter. Because people that follow Trump usually don't like products from Africa because they think they're S-H-I-T whole countries like Trump said. OK, Ghana has 94 million shea trees. OK, shea trees don't grow in the USA. OK, and that's where this shea butter comes from. It comes from Ghana and it comes off of a shea tree and they're not cutting down trees. It bears shea nuts and they grind it up. And that's what shea butter is. OK, so whoever is a Trump supporter probably does not know anything about products coming from Africa that are good and don't and definitely aren't into supporting black owned businesses. You know, I just saw, you know, Trump supposedly went to a black church and it was like 90% white in the audience and it wasn't even full. I mean, and then they wanted to make it seem like he he's got all this black support when he doesn't. You know, I wish we can go back to more ethics or at least hide it better, you know? But anyway, I'm rambling. All right, Willie Mays. Willie Mays is one of the greatest basket, uh, baseball players that ever lived. Oh, one of the greatest that ever lived. He passed away. He was 93, fortunate enough to make it to 93. So rest in peace. Uh, let's, let me show you a picture of the great Willie Mays. There he is. One of the greatest uh, MLB uh, Major League Baseball players ever. Okay, he's in the Hall of Fame. And this is the Juneteenth sticker. See, it's got the shackles. And, you know, Juneteenth also reminds me, you know, Juneteenth always rem also reminds me of Michael and his Independence Day. Because the first message that Michael left for us um, uh, in This Is It, um, which was released, what, seven days after the death announcement? And it was the Martin Luther King speech. And let's, let me put first message. Uh, let me see if I can pull it up. Um, we got a new clue. We do have a new clue, y'all. First message, Michael Jackson, Pearl Jr. Let's see if that pulls it up. Let's see. Uh, no, of course, because all my stuff is buried so deep. You know, so first, first message, um... Uh, first message, I think it was from, no, this is it. Let's see. This is it. The greatest demonstration for freedom in the history of our nation. Remember? And, uh, and it was Michael telling us that he faked his death and he wanted to get his freedom. And uh, then there was Independence Day. What was that? That was Latoya and Jeffrey were at the house after after the death announcement on June 25th. And then they left on July 4th, Independence Day. So let, let, let me just do this. Let's do um, This Is It trailer. This Is It trailer, Michael Jackson. 
Okay, I think it's in there because that was the trailer that promoted it, right? And um, this is it. So I let me, the greatest demonstration of freedom in the history of our nation. Uh, so let me get to that part. Uh, let's see. Uh, um, the greatest demonstration of freedom. If you look at the official trailer, you know, he has in there... Uh, um, him coming down the stairs, smooth criminal. You guys got to watch the first alive because you might have forgotten a lot of the uh, official clues. Okay, let's see. Um, they don't really care about us. Okay, where is it? Uh, no, that's not the right one. Oh, that's September. What am I looking at? This was June, released in June. Uh, let's see. I didn't mean to pull it up, guys, but now that I mention it, I better pull it up, right? This is it, trailer. Why, why are they not... Uh, when things get old, the algorithm doesn't work well on the search. On the search. So it's probably not just me. Okay, so this is it, trailer. Um... The greatest demonstration of freedom in the history of our nation. Let's see. Mm, nope, this one's December. Don't tell me he done got rid of that clue. <laughs> Let's see if he got rid of that clue. This is just too much. Yep, it, it ain't here. Where is it? But they got the smooth criminal. I don't know where it is, y'all. Where is it? Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay, where is the one that was released? All these are like October or September. So I don't know, y'all. I don't know. The greatest demonstration, well, anyway, you can go find it. The greatest demonstration of freedom in the history of our nation. Because Martin Luther King wouldn't have it, okay? So, anyway, so that Juneteenth kind of reminds me of Michael and his Independence Day, which is June 25th, 2009. All right, so let's get to the clues. Let's get to the clues. All right, um, let's see. Oh, on the 25th of, um, on the 25th, of um this year on the 25th of this year june 25th on the 15th anniversary aarp which is um an organization a magazine that uh, caters to seniors and they have more members than like cosmo all the magazines right so they are hosting a virtual airing of the whiz i put um movies for grown-ups so i put the link on this facebook page i'm working that day it's on a tuesday i'm working pacific time from five to seven you have to rsvp and you can watch the whiz with other people online i just and you know the whiz is about magic and you know, Dorothy, they thought she was missing and she wasn't and they found her at the end and everything was good. And Michael plays the Scarecrow and Diana Ross plays Dorothy. Uh, yeah. So, you know, so I want so you guys, you know, because it was like an imaginary. Well, you guys can watch it. But anyway, I think that 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 was planned. By AARP or did they make a deal with the people that own the Wiz? Because I know Michael still gets um, uh, residuals from it because I saw I see the Wiz on his accounting, right? All right. So now let's get to, oh, new picture of Catherine. New picture of Catherine. Another one. All right. There she is with her three boys. And this is the bass, the guy that plays the bass. Catherine, Tito, uh, Jackie, and Marlon. I think she's at their show. I think she's at their show. Catherine, I'm so glad she's still doing well. You know, she's 94. Wow. My dad's 91. Wow. Okay. So anyway, so now we're going to get to Paris and her new clue. Okay. So Paris and Omar went to Austria. Now, Austria is pretty far, okay? How far, let me put, how far, how far is Austria from Norway? 
Okay, because you know um, Omar lives in Norway because his mother's from Norway. So where's Austria? It's a pretty good distance. It's 22 hours and 18 minutes. So it ain't in the neighborhood. It ain't next door. You know, here, here's a little map. It ain't next door. Okay, there's Norway, Denmark, uh, Germany, and then Austria. So it, 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 so it, it's not that they picked Austria because it was near Omar. Omar had to get, in the, get on a flight too um, because it's a 22 hour, uh, 22 and a half hour. I think it's a drive or is that a flight? How far is Norway by plane, Austria? Oh, so if he got on a flight, it's still a two and a half hour flight. So you can't say they went to Austria because it was close to um, Omer, right? Omer Batty, right? But anyway, uh, so she goes, so her and, um, so Paris and Omar are in Austria having a little uh, relaxation, okay? And this is what Paris decides to post. Okay, hold on, hold on, guys, hold on. Let me Let me enlarge this. Oh, man, let me turn the sound down. Okay, come on, enlarge. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. Shoo, 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 shoo. Okay, let me turn this down. Okay, this is what Paris decides to post. She posted a lot of stuff, her playing guitar. Her voice is getting a lot better, my goodness. And, um, and she's playing the guitar, she's singing, she's exercising, she's doing some form of yoga. So it's supposed to be like a relaxing thing right so anyway so there this seems like they're in a cabin somewhere so anyway this is what she decides to post okay okay all right all right guys okay so this is what she decides to post okay there she is at the retreat look at cryo center minus 100 degrees fahrenheit cryo Okay, so let's finish. Let's finish showing you this. I'm sorry about the connection, guys. I'm really sorry. So, cryo. So, here she is coming out. There, is, there she is coming out of the cryo, I guess, a sauna. Okay, and it's really cold. So, there she is. There she is. Hopefully, it won't buffer. Okay, that's her. She takes off her hat. All right. So, guys, this is, I, I didn't make this happen. A lot of people get mad at me and think I'm making this stuff happen. See the cryotic? That's her. So, she's, so she gets out. She's dancing around. Okay, because it's cold. Okay, and there she is. There's Paris right there. Okay, that's her. You see her tattoos and everything. All right. So, we all know. You all know, you guys all know my theory, right? My theory is uh, Michael used a cryonic body double, okay, to fake his death, period, okay? Propovol is used in cryonic freezing um, to preserve the brain, and that's why there was so much propovol in the system. Uh, the, we have Dr. Murray saying it's not the same body that he saw. The body looked different. We have the EMT saying it looked like an old cancer hospice patient. The, the quote unquote death photos don't look like old, look like a young Michael Jackson. Um, uh, we have, uh, the police officer, the detective who watched one of the autopsies said it looked nothing like him. We have, um, uh, alleged, we have the verdict. On verdict day of the Conrad Murray trial, the judge calling it an alleged incident, and it was the death of an alleged Michael Joseph Jackson and on an alleged date. So, and then Michael was complaining about being hot and being cold. And then there were all these, um, all these articles, uh, published about that time, how Michael was in, into, uh, cryonics. We have the leave it alone video where it says, uh, Michael's frozen at age 50 and it was, or something 50 years or something. And we also have, um, uh, uh, hot and cold. What else do we have? That and we have Michael, an article of some, a limo driver saying he drove Michael and a few other people and Yuri Geller to a Raelian convention, which was all about cryonics. 
Okay. And then somebody sent Alcor some kind of note that said, uh, I was trying to mock me saying that I believe that the body was a chronic Bobby Nibble. Yeah, I do. And then we have an article, um, uh, uh, mock me and they said, Oh, that must be some kind of hoax. They use the word hoax. And then we have, um, what else do we have? We have, uh, oh, the article published less than 24 hours, um, that said Michael Jackson faked his own death. And one of the comments was like, uh, talking about the EMT said that they weren't sure that that body was him and it looked like it had recent surgery. And you can do surgery on a cryonics body double. Okay. So, and all three death photos are fake. All the names are, all the death documents are the wrong name. Not one death document uses his right name of Michael Joe Jackson. All of them use Michael Jackson, Michael J. Jackson, Michael Joseph Jackson. But his name is Michael Joe Jackson. And not one, not one death document uses his real name of Michael Joe Jackson. And um, so I believe it's a chronic body double. And here we are. And look how they took just Paris took just like the perfect picture of, you know, of that to make sure we saw that. OK, to make sure we saw it. OK, I don't make this happen. People be mad at me. As if I'm creating all these, uh, these connections, these clues, this proof, this evidence, these facts. I don't make it up. Okay. I don't make it up. None of it might make up. All of this stuff is, is something that was out there that I found on the internet, on a search, or a fan sent it to me, or I discovered it, or, um, or the Jacksons left a clue, or Paris left a clue, but Paris hadn't left a clue in a long time. She hadn't left a clue in a long time, right? So, I believe that this was an intentional clue. Is it a coincidence? I don't know. You're all the way in Austria, okay? How far is Austria from the USA? Let's do that one. I mean, golly, how far is Austria um, from the USA? And you didn't have to go to that facility, okay? Um, it's 5,181 miles, according to uh, Google, uh, away. Okay, so this, so is she doing something else in Austria? I don't know. I, I have no idea. All I know is that she put the word cryo <laughs> and and frost is coming out. And it's cold. And cryo means, what is cryo? Cryo means cold, right? Cryo, C-R-Y-O, definition. Uh, involving or producing cold, um, especially extreme cold. Okay? I don't make this stuff happen. Okay? I don't make it happen. But anyway, does Paris know that Michael paid for the trip? And, and Michael said, why don't you do this? Why don't you do that? Because sometimes I think Michael has people do stuff and they don't know why they're doing it. They just know that they, they better do it because he probably gives them money to do things. Right? Yeah. If you have all the money in the world or a lot of money, yeah, you pay people and they need the money anyway. You know, you know, I don't know what, what Omer does for money. I have no idea what he does for money. He's, you know, he doesn't, he's not supposed to get estate money, you know, but I know that on the family trips and stuff, he does get some stuff. Okay. So anyway, that is our new clue from Paris Jackson, the cryonics facility. So I want you guys to, um, um, uh, make sure you go to michaeljacksoninsider.com. And if you haven't watched a live one, two, three, and four, I think you should. Okay. You should. Or if you haven't watched it in a while, go back and rewatch it. It's so fun. And it's so filled with, oh my God. 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 And there's only, and it's like 99.99% accurate to this day. I just have to take out one word, just one word. And it's inconsequential. It doesn't change anything. It doesn't make anything change. It's nothing. It's just a word in there that I need to take out that Cecil has already taken out. So when we make our, we have not I made our new batch of uh, the Alive Trilogy DVDs. And you know what? Maybe we'll make, uh, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll talk to Matt about making uh, all four of them in one. That's what I'll do. 
I'll see if they can put all four of them in, in one and put all the different covers on one and I'll have Matt uh, put that together for me because uh, um, he's such a great graphics artist. Uh huh. So anyway, guys, I think that's about it. I'm tired of people saying Pearl is a bad guy when she's the one telling us the facts. Thank you, Tori. I mean, I show it to you. I appreciate Pearl and Cecil's hard work over the years and I want to say thank you as a fan. Oh, also, they uh, today they sent out the promotion for... Um, they sent out the promotion for Michael's birthday party in Las Vegas. Uh, the Michael Jackson estate sent that out today. So they're having some kind of event again for his birthday, which they do. And I think it's an annual event. I think it's really good. And then I think Peter Michael Bobby is doing something that week in Las Vegas too. So um, that should be kind of interesting. <laughs> You know, I know he wants me to see him so bad as Bobby Anderson to kind of mess with my head. And I'm avoiding it because, I, you know, the games and the games and the games. I know you're a decoy for Michael. Michael had plenty of decoys. Michael had stand-ins. He had body doubles. Oh, speaking of uh, stand-ins and body doubles, you know, I meant to tell you guys this before. Do you know there's over 50 stunt doubles in the Michael movie? What the heck? Michael, okay, Michael movie, okay, Michael's had impersonators, tribute artists, um, uh, uh, decoys, uh, stand-ins, body doubles, it, wax figures, so it's nothing for Michael to come up with, okay, Bobby, pretend like you're me, so if I'm ever caught and they think I'm that, that, that it's really me, then we're going to put you in the front and you're going to come out and go, no! I'm not like him. I like Anderson. I already know. That's the game. Okay? Because I already, if you want to know all the things that he's done and he couldn't do as some guy just in South Carolina, watch a live three and a live four. You know, watch all of them. They're really, really good. But why are there so many stunt doubles in the Michael biopic? Okay, that's coming out on Easter. <laughs> Resurrection Day. Jesus dies, but Jesus comes back on Easter, right? I, I'm, I, I didn't. I did not schedule this movie to come out on April 25th. Okay, I mean April 18th, 2025. Okay, I did not do that. Okay, it's coming out April 18th, 2025, which is Easter weekend, which is um, Black Friday. I'm uh, not Black Friday. Ash Friday. Ash Friday. Right. Um, and Sunday is Easter. OK, I'm just saying, I, you know, people get people get all on me about all kind of stuff, you know, and it ain't me. OK, so let's do all cast and crew. And then we're going to go down and they, you know, so Deb, there's still no casting for Janet. Um, there's no at least it's not listed for Janet, for um, uh, um, Debbie Rowe or Lisa Marie. So or Paris, Prince and BG. We got kids. So I think it ends around the same time, the 93. I think it ends around that time, okay? Um, because there's plenty of story there, you know? So it's a little bit longer than um, American Dream. American Dream ended in like 83, 84, okay? 84, because it did cover Michael getting burned. I Yeah, it covered Michael getting burned. So it ended about 1984, you know, uh, so this is going to go up until 94, I believe, an extra 10 years. But I don't know everything. OK, I do not know everything. All right. So let's do the stunt doubles. OK, stunts. This is the Internet Movie Database, IMDB.com. IMDB.com is um, um, only the person in charge of the Michael movie is an official website because I have an IMDB page and they verify everything that you put on that page. So this, this is official. This is official. Okay. Somebody from the Michael movie is officially in charge of this page. All right. So look at the number of stunt doubles. What the heck? Golly. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that. Look at all those stunts. Wow. I think I think there's over 50. You know? What are they doing? Uh Jafar didn't do all the something somethings. 
you know, because the only thing that I could see that was kind of wild was uh, Michael getting burned. Okay, I can understand stunts for that, the, the Pepsi burn. I can understand that. But we talking about stunts. Stunts like like uh, the Avengers, you know, stunts. So I, I don't know, but it sure is a lot of people doing stunts. Okay, so I, I found that to be really, really interesting. Uh, there's like more stunts, double uh, stunt um, people, stunt men, stunt women, um, more than anything else. There's more, more, more stunts than any, and than more actors that are listed. That that's oh my goodness. Okay, well we're we're waiting on it. We're waiting on it. And there's a lot of Cameron Electrical, but not as many as stunts. Okay, so anyway, guys, I think I'm done. I think I'm done. I think I'm done. Boom, 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 boom. So be sure on June 25th to sign up to AARP.com and, and sign up for the Wiz to watch the Wiz virtually. And also, you can get your tickets to the celebration, Michael's birthday this year in Las Vegas or Peter Michael Bobby's event in Las Vegas. And, um, um, and happy Juneteenth. And thank you, Paris. Bye. See you next time.